Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this holiday event happening today, NBA 2K24, my team. I wish I was, there was a way that I could get this screen to just stay on it. I guess, actually, this event screen will stay here, so this works. Um, but yeah, we're getting this holiday event. This is now in my team until December 27th, in which case the event will stay the same, but also change, is what they said. In the playbook, they said the event is going to change in theme with some new aspects to it so we'll have to see what that means december 27th is next wednesday um so on wednesday we will see i'll be back from my uh, vacation vacation of sorts i'm going to austin for the weekend with my family for christmas um but uh when I get back, obviously, we'll take a look at all of that. For now, though, let's take a look at what you can get for now over the next few days over Christmas break. Some of y'all probably have a lot of time. We'll be playing a lot of my team. I hope y'all are spending a lot of time with your families as well. Uh, spend as much time with your family as you can. Um, but if y'all are playing a lot of my team, there'll be some good rewarding stuff to do over the next few days as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're about 50 away from 16K. Trying to hit that today. I think we definitely can start working towards 17,000 yeah, before the year is over. So that'd be pretty cool. But uh, as y'all can see the holiday event says earn holiday packs after each win in my team excludes challenges exchange event cards hold from holiday packs for different prizes in the exchange so this is all that there is so far um so after each win in any mode besides challenges so clutch time offline triple threat offline domination clutch online triple threat online unlimited salary cap co-op any of those modes i don't think it works in play with friends obviously either but all the other modes you'll get a holiday pack uh for each win and in that holiday pack you can get a few different things you get jerseys you can get some other stuff you can get consumables you can get players i think um like some lower overall players you might be able to even pull some higher overall players from those these holiday event packs and in fact i, I assume you probably can you can also get these lumps of coal and the lumps of coal exchange for presents which you use the presents to get the other stuff so you can exchange two lumps of coal for these present event cards if you get the lumps of coal and then the present event cards are what you actually use to get all the rewards so patrick ewing who is like the end reward for this holiday event actually by the way a very good card i'm very surprised how all the way around a good he is requires 50 presents which means 100 lumps of coal which is admittedly kind of a lot um because that's like 100 games that you'll have to play but over the next you're, you're not probably not going to get him today unless you're a huge grinder obviously Obviously, but you'll be able to get them over the next couple of weeks for sure if you do want to get Ewing. There are other rewards you can also use these presents on, such as diamond shoe boosts, a diamond shoe, these sleeved uniform east and west option packs, city uniform east and west option packs. Many of these are used to complete if you're trying to work on completing those collections for the Hall of Fame badges, uh, in season tournament uh, option packs, and then a Tis the Season base pack for six, a Tis the Season deluxe pack the future for 12. That's actually probably a good one to spend it on. I probably wouldn't use them on the 25th anniversary deluxe unsellable packs or this any of the other NCLO packs really I would just if you're going to use the um on use these on packs do it for the future unsellable deluxe packs if you're going to use the presents for the packs outside of that amethyst coach mike malone probably not worth using to them for a hoff badge 25 is a lot if you're going to get 25 i would just use them for ewing at that point 30 is 30k is 25 kmt that's actually pretty fire and then we have these other obviously exchanges that are available currently as well because of uh that are going to be in packs for the next six days i guess these base and deluxe unsettled packs that you can exchange players for amethysts rubies and sapphires for the base packs if y'all would like to do so uh in fact let's look who's a sapphire i'll never use again let's open up a base pack or real quickly why not i might open up a ruby pack real quickly as well if i have a ruby sitting in my collection who i'll never use again who i can use for this uh we can open up a couple packs real quickly or something if we have the stuff for it claxton grant williams i'm never going to use that grant williams card but i'm really never going to use this tobias harris card again so i will include him here and we'll just use him i might even exchange some of these other players that i'm not currently using or locking in for anything like these tournament battles players for some of these packs just this extends this video out a little bit gives you a little bit more content i guess for this video's opening a couple a couple of these packs and maybe we get lucky and pull something good out of one of them but it's a good event as a whole i really do think so oh you can pull non tis the season future okay so you can just pull tis the season players period out of these that's interesting i didn't realize that i'll sell the sean elliott that i do have for 3300 that's actually a lot for emerald maybe he was hollow did i have a hollow sean elliott or something i don't know i'll take it whatever uh and then this future pack give me something nope nothing good out of this one a ruby nick ah, that's actually a ruby i'll take that i just got a hoff badge as well for something i'll take that and i will sell that claxton for four thousand and t i just made like eight thousand and t out of those two packs right there that was kind of fire but this holiday event is really good if y'all are going to be on my team a lot over the next week or so give you a lot of different awards to grind for actually over the next two weeks 
Um, for me personally, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be playing over the next week at least because I'm going to be spending a lot of time with family. After that, though, I'll probably take advantage and get some of these rewards. That Ewing card is legit. Like, he looks pretty dang close to Kareem and, or so specifically to Hakeem and D-Robin. Looks like he's on the Kareem level at least. So that's a really good free card that's actually available right now at the center position. Um, cool event. Be interested to see what the update is here in a few days. It'll either be something... Um, I probably New Year's related would be my guess, or it could be, I guess, Chinese New Year related. I think Chinese New Year stuff will probably come a little bit later, though. Uh, they generally do stuff for Chinese New Year in 2K, though, so it'll be interesting to see what happens then if we get Yao later in January. That's going to be intriguing to see, with Wenbei having obviously just coming out, uh, come out as well. And obviously, it is a little disappointing, probably, that Ewing is the reward when we just got a Wimby who you can pay for. Like, it's not the same card, but Ewing would be a great backup center. Say you lock in Wimby and you want to have a backup center, Ewing would, would be a great option. I guess you could run D-Rob instead if you're locking in one of the bigger sets, but this Ewing card looks legit. Like, I am pretty impressed by this card for a free card for a new player and nobody spent player this is a legitimately rewarding free card that you can get and there are some other pretty solid rewards that you can get with these presents if you use them on the right stuff as well so if y'all are playing the game you will be getting more rewarded than normal over the next couple weeks it's probably not insane but it's a nice little addition and it gives you something extra i guess to work towards and grind for in this season uh and yeah i really will be super intrigued to see what is coming in six days december 27th uh it is also did, I, did we get the leap year promo last year was that uh because we're uh, the leap year is 2024 and that's probably not happening i'm not totally sure what this promo is going to change to on the 27th but i am really intrigued to see what that is if there winds up being another free player as well i'm kind of hoping there's going to be another free player one thing i will say just briefly in the pick Picture that 2K posted of this holiday event um, in their playbook yesterday. Patrick Ewing looked like he had a dynamic duo, um, which makes me think he doesn't have that dynamic duo right now. Are they going to drop another player that would have a dynamic duo with Patrick Ewing in this set or as the second player in this part? That's another interesting thing to keep an eye on because if Patrick Ewing gets even better with a duo and duos with another player and goes up to, for example, Pink Diamond, that would be awesome. And I'm just saying, unless that was a mistake, I saw that somewhere. Be interested to see if he gets like a legitimately good duo or if there's another new free player coming in a few days or something like that. Definitely something to keep an eye on. With that being said, I'm going to call the video there. I feel like I've already droned on too long. I probably didn't need this video to be as long as it is, but I hope it gives you all a good picture of everything that is available. There are other uh, agenda packs you can grind, like there's equals chance packs up to Amethyst in this Tis the Season stuff. There's a deluxe and a base pack you can grind from challenges. There's some other stuff you can earn as well from this Tis the Season set that is dropped today as well. So if you want to get all that stuff and do some more grinding, there are other things to grind as well. So good amount of grindable content from this Friday drop, and I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all are going to be grinding for in this holiday event. If there's any stuff that y'all are actually targeting. And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to help me push towards that 16K mark, like I said. So I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.